everybody. It is Friday, March 15th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens TGIF. We have made it through this week, and let me tell you, we are kicking off the end of spring break and St. Patty's Day with a bang. So coming up on today's show, it is almost St. Patrick's Day. It's on Sunday, and we are celebrating with some very special guests. Irish dancers live in studio. They're going to be performing for us. They're also competitors of the World Championships. And we have some very exciting news to share with you. So stay tuned for that. And don't be alarmed unless you're at the Indian Wells Tennis Tournament. A match had to get canceled because of a bee invasion that wouldn't leave the crowd or the players alone. Not even the cameras were safe. And you never know when you're going to need to see a medical specialist. Well, to get ahead of the game, a doctor will be joining us live to tell us how to choose a specialist that's right for you and your family. That and more is headed your way, so what do you say? Let's get this show started. Let's begin with today's top talkers. So file this first one under only in Texas. So what does a cowboy do when they're stuck in traffic on their way to compete at Rodeo Houston? Well, they fire up the horsepower, literally. Check this out. Calf roper Marty Yates and his wife, they were stuck on 610 and he knew he was gonna be late to compete. So being the cowboy he is, he gets out of their vehicle, unloads his horse y'all and rides the rest of the way to NRG Stadium. Lonnie K. Yates, his wife, recorded her husband galloping away, hat on head and determination in heart. The video shows him passing up dozens of stalled vehicles on the packed highway. In a cowboy fashion, he made it just in time, and you all, he took home his victory. I don't know about you guys, but I almost missed my show because I was stuck in that parking lot on 610. So everyone could use a horse and a cowboy. And this next talker is all the buzz, literally. Forget the storming of the court, we have the swarming of the court. A bizarre moment as thousands of bees swarm the court at a tournament in Indian Wells, California. The tourney actually had to come to a halt after bees stung the second ranked player in the world. That would be Carlos Alcaraz. They stung him, you all, on the head. The bees could also be seen crawling on the spider cam. Well, officials called in that guy who actually runs a bee removal service. He vacuumed up the bees and the tournament resumed. As for Alcaraz, well, let's just say he's the bee's knees, y'all. He may have been stung, but he went on to beat his opponent. Huh? How do you like all of those, uh, Lou? I know you love it when we have some good puns in there. but. Producer Lou, I had to bring you in. There's Producer Lou Hi. and Director Charlie. You've been at this tournament and you said this is a real problem. Well, yeah, I was I was telling you earlier, I went in 2019. Um, for those that don't know, I played tennis in college, Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to flex real quick. Um, but they took us to the Indian Wells and I was so excited. Um, and it, as it started to get dark uh, throughout the day, yeah. the beast started to like get like even more intense that they oh. wouldn't leave us alone um so yeah we kind of i remember me and my friends we had to like kind of like hide or um it, it was impossible to like watch the matches because it was they were everywhere and they're big it's not like you're you're Typical beast. I don't know what it is, but they're bigger than. What are they feeding them outside of Palm yeah. Springs? I don't know, but yeah, it's a real problem. So I, I think it's. I don't think it's funny because they suspend the the match. But um, I am terrified yeah. of bees. Are you scared of bees? I am scared of everything that flies. <laughs> like, every single bug that has. Like, no, no, thank you. So, like, that picture right there terrorizes me. Yeah, I was terrified. <laughs> My Nana was so allergic to bees. I'm just glad that he wasn't allergic because yeah. he could have gone into anaphylactic shock. I mean, I have an EpiPen because of my allergies, but... <laughs> and I love this picture. <laughs> like, there are so many bees and they're just trying to... <laughs> what I are they trying to do? Like, I'm sorry, you just have to let them be and uh, maybe move the... Yeah, let them be, Maggie. <laughs> 
<laughs> bum, bum. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> they, Charlie has entered the chat. He drops the mic. You won't be catching me at that tennis tournament. I mean, and if I were a player, I'd be flinging my racket all around and whatever I had to do. So yeah, yeah that is just like my worst nightmare. I know they say stay still, but how can you stay still when there's a bee? I can't. It, but also going back to the cowboy. Did, oh yeah. He made it to the finals, right? He won. That's crazy. I. First That's of all, you know, because I called you when I was stuck in that parking lot and it wasn't even around. It was early in the morning yeah. and I was like, what is going on? I was so worried. I left plenty. It took me over an hour to get there and it wasn't that far from my house. I remember. Oh yeah. my goodness. 610 is the absolute worst, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to just have a horse in the back right? and you're like, and, and that shows you like you have to really put in the effort. <laughs> I mean, and determination. So, yeah, pro look at that. I love it. And I'm so glad. Thank you, drivers, for not hitting the horse because that, that would have been, been terrible. But only in Texas can we say this. But, I mean, I think this is what we need in our life. Next year for the rodeo, I'm going to ask Boss Man, get me a cowboy, get me a horse, and that's going to be my ride. Just saying. Just saying. Drops All right. Mike. Well, speaking of um, animals, do you love a dog movie, Lou? I love me a good dog movie, especially I love Marley. Marley and Me. What? Is that the, is that the, the, I, the movie called? I don't know. <laughs> the one with the, the <laughs> is it Marley and Me? Is that I, what we're I'm about, about to find out? It. I don't know. I guess Charlie's, it, Charlie's validating me right now. So well, clearly <laughs> I'm not part of the group. I was actually going to listen to the story and find out about the movie. Well, spoiler alert is about Miley and me. It's in it. also we have another movie. An adventure racer adopts a stray dog to join him in an epic endurance. Dean Richards reviews Arthur the King in today's movie review. How did that dog get here? This is where I fed the dog in TA1, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's where we met back up with us. Right there. How did he get all the way from here to there, right? While we were on bikes and zip lines and hiking and running and climbing. Now, how did he do that? Lots of us are suckers for dog movies. But now we can add to the list that includes Yeller, Hooch, Marley, Lassie, and many more, Arthur the King. He's a dirty old pooch who is among the many strays wandering the streets of Santa Domingo searching for food. That's where he encounters Michael, played by Mark Wahlberg, who's an athlete struggling to compete in the world championship of extreme physical adventure racing, running and climbing, biking, kayaking, and more. A tough competition stretched out over 10 days and 435 miles. Despite the grueling demands on these trained athletes, somehow this scrappy little dog also shows up at each of their stops along the course, catching the attention of the media and becomes first a quirky mascot, but then as time goes on, as a symbol of pushing yourself through every physical challenge that the course might present. Story aside, this movie is beautifully acted and gorgeously shot with an extra degree of attention to detail that at times will make you think you're watching a documentary. And why not? Arthur the King is based on a true story of a dog who crossed the jungle to find a home. In this one, both the human and the canine find something special in each other. It's a very charming Dean's List B+. Plus. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week. Just text the word Dean to 97999. And I hope you have a great weekend. In Chicago, I'm Dean Richards. Well, talk about entertainment. We have Clan Kelly School of Irish Dance. They are in the house getting ready to celebrate St. Patty's Day with us. Top of the morning to y'all. Stay tuned for more Houston Happens. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson. It's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in, WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support. 
and answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions and a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And that means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Hi, my name is Kaylee. I used to weigh about 300 pounds. I was able to achieve my results and look at me now. Our laser does not destroy fat cells. We shrink them. When that happens, bam, the results are immediate. Patients can expect to see three to 11 inches in just two weeks. Typically half a pound they come per visit. If one patient isn't convincing enough, here's another and another and another. Call now or scan the barcode. Injured in an accident? Call Simmons and Fletcher, Christian trial lawyers. Watch ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW 39 every night. Well, welcome back. A recent study found that older adults are seeing more medical specialists than ever before. So joining us now to discuss is the Senior Medical Director at WellMed, Dr. Matthew McLaughlin. Thank you so much for waking up with us, doctor. You bet, Maggie. Good morning. Good morning. I know my parents and even myself, we have a lot of specialists we see. So is this a problem that people are seeing more of these specialists? You know, the problem isn't whether a patient should see a specialist. It's whether or not that specialist will communicate effectively with your family doctor. Mm -hmm. The more specialists you see, the more complicated it becomes to manage your medical care. And then that can affect the quality of the care you receive. Oh, that's a really good point. So what are some of the common mistakes would you say people make when choosing a specialist? I also know we worry if insurance is going to cover it. Right. So one of the most common mistakes is asking your family and friends for their recommendation instead of discussing a specialist with your family physician. As you mentioned, it's concerning the percentage of appointments with primary care physicians is actually dropping while the percentage of specialist appointments is going up. So communication between all the different physicians on your healthcare team is critical. When that doesn't happen, then medication errors, duplicated or unnecessary tests and other issues can occur, which drive up costs for you and for the system as well as decrease the quality of the care you receive. So research has shown when your primary care physician is at the center of your healthcare team, you get better health outcomes at a lower cost. And that's what we're doing at WellMed. So if a specialist recommendation comes from your primary care doctor, they have a history of good timely communication with that specialist. Each member of the healthcare team will have access to your full healthcare picture and needs, and they can also make sure that that specialist is covered by your insurance plan. That's what I really like, especially because you'll set up the referrals for us and everything, because it can get a little bit overwhelming. Now, I know a lot of people jump the gun. Sometimes I think there's too many cooks in the kitchen. When should we see a specialist? All right, that's a very fair question. So whenever you're managing a chronic health condition, it definitely makes sense to have a specialist on your team. And if you've received a new diagnosis, that's also a good time to consider it. Most importantly is asking these questions of your primary care physician. That's the best way you get coordinated, compassionate care. Well, doctor, where can we go for more information? I really appreciate you shedding light on this. 
Absolutely. We'd recommend you visit our website, carewithresults.com, and there you'll find a lot of the information we've been discussing today. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day. You bet, Maggie. You too. Well, from medicine to some technology, there's some new ideas in technology from a life-saving car safety feature to an electric camper and even a connected grill. Rich DeMiro breaks it all down for us in today's TechSmart. When it comes to technology, new ideas are everywhere. We think there's insufficient notice to oncoming drivers of dangers ahead on the roadway. Emergency Safety Solutions says 19,000 people a year are injured or killed in crashes involving disabled vehicles, which is why they created a system for cars called HELP. The first alert is a lighting alert, and that's what you see here, the high flash rate of the hazard lamps. There's also a digital alert that notifies drivers as they approach a disabled vehicle. Right now, the technology is in Teslas. They're also working with Volkswagen and Stellantis, makers of Dodge and Jeep. So our main focus, number one, is to draw awareness uh, of this problem and to do something about it. Electric vehicles are all the buzz, but what about an EV camper? These things make a lot of sense in a lot of different ways. Earth Cruiser, known for their rugged expedition trucks, created their first 100% electric camper on a Hummer EV. The concern for sure is, you know, am I going to get back? Am I going to... But, but that's getting better and, and better all the time. The solar top house is made of lightweight carbon fiber, is powered independently and comfortable for two people and a dog. We've gotten very spoiled with the infrastructure that the petroleum industries have put together for us. That's fabulous. And it won't be too long before that same infrastructure is going to be mirrored in for electric vehicles. And whether you're grilling at home or on the road, even that's getting smarter. Just the versatility of the settings through our smart technology just really elevates the game with this particular grill. Weber's new Summit Smart Gas Grill has a digital screen, precise controls instead of knobs, and a built-in scale to let you know how much propane you have left. There are different temperatures for different zones. You can control and monitor everything from your phone. Instead of fumbling around and you having to do the legwork learning, we are able to use technology to get you where you need to be quicker. So we're giving you confidence and we're giving you consistency in your cook. I'm Rich Demiro, and you are Tech Smart. Well, I'm so excited because it is an annual tradition. Each St. Patrick's Day, we celebrate with the talented dancers at Clay and Kelly School of Irish Dance. And of course, I have my good friends, Anna Kelly and Arlene Torres, along with some amazing dancers that I've actually grow up, see grow yeah. up before my very own eyes. We've been doing this so long together, you all. Yes, definitely. Well, happy early St. Patrick's Day. Thank Same you. To you. So tell everybody a little bit about your background and how you started the school. Yeah, so I was actually born in England, but my mom and dad are both have Irish ancestry. So I started the school, I think it was 2016. So I've been doing this for a while. I started dancing when I was nine years old and then grew up through it. I started helping teach and then I started my own school. And your dancers have gone far competing. Miss Violet back here. Tell me about that. Yeah, so she and I went to Montreal. It was last Easter. It's Easter week that Worlds is held every year. And she made it through, there's two cuts and she made it to the final round and she placed 32nd in the world. Violet, I am so proud of you. And Arlene, tell us about your background because, oh my goodness, I love this story. Oh, it's the only time it comes out. It's <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. Um, well, I was born in Dublin, Ireland, and I started dancing when I was three years of age. Um, and just like these guys behind me, I competed. Um, and I was third in the world three times. I was second in the world twice. And then finally, I managed to win the world twice. Oh and then I was lucky enough to be part of the Eurovision Song Contest uh, when they had um, Riverdance be the interval act and then I went on to be part of Riverdance the show the original one I became a lead dancer there then I also was a part of the original Lord of Dance and a lead dancer in that also oh so gosh. and now your sons and I have, well, I have four sons and yeah. I settled in Houston yeah I married a native from San Antonio but we live here and my oldest son is in Ireland and, and he's going to college he sent his mom a necklace to wear today. I, know. I, I just, you're raising amazing, amazing sons I hope, and talented. Hope so. That's what we try for, right? Well, quickly, just, where can we go to watch you all this weekend? Well, well tomorrow we'll be dancing at um, 
Hugh O'Connor's, and then okay. on uh, actually on St. Patrick's Day, we'll be at a number of places: the Mucky Duck, Hugh O'Connor's again, Finn McCool's, and the West Chase Tavern. What's the best place for us to follow you all? Probably oh, on social media, okay. on Clan Kelly. We're on Instagram and Facebook. All right. Well, can you all perform for us? I'm very excited. So we're going to step out of the way again. Clan Kelly School Virus Dance. Take it away, you all. Meteorologist Adam Kruger is a social media sensation. Millions have viewed his videos. See what the buzz is all about right now. Go to CW39.com forward slash Adam or just scan the QR code on your screen. You probably know a National Forest Direct, we install flooring the next day. And you may be thinking, what's the big deal? Well, if you go to a flooring store or big home warehouse, your installation could take up to six weeks or more. Just ask them. Well, we don't think that's right. A National Floors Direct, if you call today, you'll see a representative when you want, and you'll have your flooring installed the next day. So get the flooring experience you deserve, and we'll beat their price by 15% too. Call 888-400-FLOOR. We bring the store to your door. What's up, everybody? I'm Deontay. A little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Deluxe Sandwich is the flavor it provides. It's seasoned to perfection. It's juicy every time. The pepper jack, it melts on top, and it gives it that little kick along with the zest from the chicken is memorable when you bite into it. Just thinking about how it's stacked up, that's what I look forward to every time. This spicy deluxe is fire. Real customer paid for their testimonial. Would you buy a life insurance policy if you knew your rate increased every five years? What if $9.95 a month bought you less than $1,000 in protection? Sadly, many policies that seniors buy today fail to mention this in their advertisements. You could buy a policy that might not give you enough coverage when you need it most. Call now to receive free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life Insurance Company. The Senior Care Plan guarantees your rates cannot increase. Your benefit will never decrease. There is no medical exam and you will have lifetime coverage. You could qualify for up to $30,000 in whole life protection and rates start as low as $5.90 a month. With the Senior Care Plan, your coverage can start immediately, unlike other policies that don't give you full coverage for two years. Call now for free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life. By calling now, you lock in the lowest rate possible. You have no obligation. Call now. Crafting the perfect latte portrait? Mm, that takes skill. Ordering lottery tickets on your phone? That just takes Jackpocket. Jackpocket makes playing lottery games like Powerball and Mega Millions so easy, 
that all you need to know is Jack. <gasps> hey, I just won $200. Congrats, girl. Jack Pocket. All you need to know is Jack. No one's gonna mess with blind girl. You keep going alone. I'm not alone. I've got you. Sight Unseen. Series premiere Wednesday, April 3rd. So still to come on today's show, we have some very special guests, a special series. We are honoring Women's History Month with three influential women of Houston. We have someone with Bayou Heights Beer Garden. They'll be sharing their story, along with Josephine's Gulf Coast tradition, and then Two-Headed Dog. These are all talented members of Houston's vibrant and diverse food and beverage community. They've actually teamed up in March to celebrate women's impact on the service industry. The cocktails will be available throughout March at each participating establishment. And get this, a portion of the proceeds will be donated to charitable groups selected by each industry professional. And you have to hear their amazing connection to these nonprofits. So that and more is headed your way. The second half hour of Houston Happen starts after the break. I feel good. Na, 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 na. I knew that I would. Na, 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 na. Ooh, yum. Hey. hey. I feel good. The Rooms to Go Anniversary Sofa Sale is going on now. Hurry in to get big savings and endless sofa possibilities. Remember, every Rooms to Go sofa is on sale. Save on fabric sofas, sleeper sofas, plush leather sofas, sectionals, and reclining sofas. Every sofa you see is priced low to sell fast. And only Rooms to Go offers an opportunity like this. So shop the Rooms to Go Anniversary Sofa Sale now through Tuesday. Every sofa is on sale. In here, you can expect to find crystal clear audio, expansive display space, and more comfort for everyone. But we still left room for all the unexpected things you'll find out here. The new 2024 Grand Cherokee lineup. Jeep, there's only one. During the Jeep Celebration event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Don't miss this great offer. Numbers move you, but some can stop you in your tracks, like the tens of thousands of people who were diagnosed with certain HPV-related cancers. For most people, HPV clears on its own. But for those who don't clear the virus, it can cause certain cancers. Gardasil 9 is a vaccine given to adults through age 45 that can help protect against certain diseases caused by HPV, including cervical, vaginal, vulvar, anal, and certain head and neck cancers, such as throat and back of mouth cancers and genital warts. Gardasil 9 doesn't protect everyone and does not treat cancer or HPV infection. Your doctor may recommend screening for certain HPV-related cancers. Women still need routine cervical cancer screenings. You shouldn't get Gardasil 9 if you've had an allergic reaction to the vaccine, its ingredients, or are allergic to yeast. Tell your doctor if you have a weakened immune system, are pregnant, or plan to be. The most common side effects include injection site reactions, headache, fever, nausea, dizziness, tiredness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sore throat. Fainting can also happen. Help protect what counts. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about Gardasil 9. Waiting for the right time to buy a vinyl floor? Well, right now at National Floors Direct, you can get an entire room of luxury vinyl flooring installed the next day for just $788. Just $788. Today, vinyl flooring is luxurious. It looks and feels like real wood, tile, or stone, but it's durable, waterproof, and soft underfoot. Call 888-400-FLOOR and get a luxury vinyl floor from World Famous Shock with no interest for a full year. Call 888-400-FLOOR and we'll bring the store to your door. Well, we continue to celebrate and honor the influential women of Houston in the food and beverage industry. Our first guest of the series, we have Miss Anastasia Kephart. She's with Bayou Heights Beer Garden. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Thank you for having me. I love your story. So tell me a little bit about how you got into the service industry. Uh, I started in the service industry. Uh, my mom worked in the service industry for a while and then sort of just gave me that platform to sort of go in there because she liked it. Uh -huh. um, 
it's been sort of hard for me as a woman, but it is really great. Yeah, talk to me a little bit about that. Uh, so, especially getting into craft cocktail, it's very male dominated, and it was very hard to learn the recipes, sort of get recipes, because I felt not really wanted, but oh. through that, I've sort of definitely taken a hold of it and done a really good job. And made it your own. Yes. So tell me about this cocktail you're making and also because you guys are giving back to the community. Tell me about that. Yeah. Uh, my cocktail is called Ain't It Sunny. It's inspired after my mom, Sunny. Uh, my mom's an immigrant from South Korea. So a lot of my ingredients are uh, flavors I grew up with as a child, flavors I've grown to love as an adult, and just flavors that come from her country. Oh my goodness. All right. So yeah. t walk me through a little bit about Perfect. what you're making. Yeah. Uh, I have umami bitters. Uh, we do four dashes of that. And I have ice in my tin already. Okay. And what does it mean to you to be able to have a cocktail named after your mom? I, I mean, she's the one that raised me. She did a really good job, and I'm forever grateful for her. She definitely came here without finishing her education, um, without really knowing a lot of the language. So a lot of that determination and everything she's been able to do for me and my siblings is just like an unforgivable debt. Oh, my goodness. I can yeah. see it in your <laughs> eyes how close you are, too. Yeah, no, I love my mom. And she must be so proud of you. I hope she is. <laughs> yes, of course she is. So we are toasting to your mom and she's raising an amazing daughter. All right, so tell me, so you put that in and then what's next? All right, so we do three quarters of lemon juice, has to be fresh. Okay. So how do you learn about, because craft cocktails, I mean, it's a real art form. I learned a lot from my manager. Okay. Uh, he taught me a lot, kind of took me and guided me to just be who I am today. Right. Um, a lot of the knowledge that I've gained is through him and he's been really, really nice to me. What is the biggest piece of advice you have for other women out there that maybe want to pursue this? Just do it. Uh, I mean, that's what I did. Just like, just learn the recipes, just put yourself out there. I just came so good that they couldn't deny me. Oh. And that's what I tried to do. <laughs> uh, talk about a boss, babe, for sure. <laughs> All right, so tell me again. We have about um, a minute. What's and then next? we have uh, gochujang agave, three quarters of that. Ooh, I've not heard of that. Yeah, it's a uh, house made. <laughs> Jeez, this is amazing. And to think we have this right here. So tell everybody where we can come and visit you. Bayou Heights Beer Garden. Okay. And always, like we say, please drink responsibly. You don't want to get in trouble. So you can always have a DD or an Uber. Definitely. All right. Uh, we have this an is... ounce of our your favorite bourbon, Cast Strength. Ooh, okay. And then we have an ounce of the Macaulay. It's going to be an unfiltered rice wine. Oh, this is amazing. You shake it all up, and then I love the garnishes because I'm all about, I think that's what really makes craft cocktails. Cool, you ready? Yeah. Perfect. All right. This is the part I'm never good at. Shaking? Yes. Sometimes it just like goes everywhere. I've done it live on TV. I'm scared it with. I know. <laughs> and then crack the tin. Look at this. Amazing. And then over pebble ice. Look at that. I'm so proud of you. Sorry. And is this uh, your first time on TV? This is my first time on I, TV. I'm guys, very scared. <laughs> she did amazing. So you have conquered another something. So you should be really proud Yay. of yourself Thank today. You. Yes. Cheers. And then cheers we to do that. A oh, oh, hairspray. I better back up. <laughs> She's hot. She's fire. This girl okay. is on fire. Thank so you. I'm very <laughs> proud of you, and I really love the story and how your mom has inspired you. Like Thank I you. said, she's very proud of you. So cheers to that. You know, Kerrigan, what I love? I love great patio weather. Mm. So today, maybe not the day, but go mm. inside and have a cocktail, right? <laughs> Yes, and I've been to Bayou Heights Bear Garden. They have plenty of great indoor seating yes. as well. So even though the weather will be a little shaky today, you can still go and have a great time. Yes, today. hunker down, have a cocktail, and watch the rain. I'm here yes. for it. So what's the forecast this weekend? Is it going to be a total washout? Kind of for this evening, some okay. severe weather very possible throughout our region. Satellite radar, as of now, we are picking up on those showers and a couple of thunderstorms passing through town. Uh, if you're traveling along I-10 out toward Schulenburg, you may encounter some of that rainfall traveling in this morning up toward Conroe, seeing some light shower activity out toward Baytown as well. But more of that uh, rainfall will be developing as we head into later on this afternoon and into the evening. That's also the time frame that I'm most concerned with whenever it comes to the threat for severe weather. Now, all modes of severe weather are possible for today. Our severe outlook showing a good chunk of the Houston area in that slight risk, which is a level two out of five in terms of severe weather. We can't rule out an isolated tornado, small to even large hail possible as well, and also the threat for some heavy rainfall and gusty to damaging winds. So let's start with future cast for this afternoon. Here's our three o'clock hour developing out to our west from the 
Bryan College Station area passing our way closer to four o'clock. We have a line of strong winds that will be encompassed of uh, within these lines of showers and thunderstorms and this is a time frame that you really need to be weather aware uh, avoid any outdoor activities i would say by this time frame as uh, those could be uh, pretty harmful to um, structures or anything like that tie down some outdoor furniture if you have the chance for this afternoon heading into this evening time we're seeing a lot of those storms moving off to our East and then for the overnight hours, we start to clear up ever so slightly with the chance for more rainfall developing as we head into later on this weekend. So here's your rodeo weekend forecast today, tomorrow and our Sunday. Not ideal. We do have that chance of rain present every single day and not only rain, thunderstorms and severe weather all possible as we approach um, the next few days. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Well, back in February, we brought you a story with Dutch Brothers. They told us how they were donating $1 from each of their Dutch Love Latte sales to the Houston Food Bank. Customers had from February 1st to the 18th to participate in their give back program. Well, the results are officially in, y'all. They will be surprising the Houston Food Bank today at 10 a.m. with the total amount of funds raised. It is a surprise, so I can't tell you how much you'll have to tune in on Monday. But um, all I can say is you all showed up for the community. So uh, thank you. We had them on the show. This is why we do what we do. Thank you to the service industry for always giving back. Speaking of which, today we are continuing to honor three Houston women who have an impact in the food and beverage community every single day. So our second guest of this series is Rosie Puccio with Josephine's Gulf Coast Tradition. Thank you so much for waking up with yeah, us. Yeah, of course. I'm excited yeah. to have you. So tell me a little bit about how you got involved in the service industry. So I grew up in a restaurant family. Um, my grandparents owned restaurants. My dad worked in restaurants. My aunt owns a catering company. It was just kind of something that was there the whole time. Um, and then I went away to college. I studied psychology. I swore I would never do this. <laughs> and then I really missed it and I moved back home. And so I studied hotel and restaurant management at University of Houston. What challenges have you faced as a woman in the industry? It's not easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's hard. I think there are definitely times where people don't assume that I know as much as mm -hmm. I do. I think that there's lots of times where people underestimate what I like to do, but I've also been really fortunate to work over the years for really great people who have given me a chance to learn what I want to learn and do what I want to do, and so it's it's definitely kind of been fun. That's amazing. And yeah. tell me about this drink and also the charity. Yeah, so um, I am not a bartender, but I was really excited about this project of just kind of working with other industry women um, and doing all of this, and so I came up with a cocktail. Um, I call it Peach Please. Oh, um, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's with bourbon, and then um, it's got a little bit of peach um, in it and a little bit of lemon and then a little bit of bitters as well. Uh -huh. um, but one of the people who inspires me, I, my family is, we're all super close. We're a really big, loud, half Italian family. Everybody is always in each other's business. Um, but I grew up with my niece always being super excited about restaurants, being super excited about um, just working in kitchens and being excited about all of that. And just, she is somebody who definitely inspires me when I get frustrated uh -huh. working. She's the one who's always like just very super motivated, super excited, all of that. And so um, she's a little bit sassy, which is where Peach Please comes from. I love that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. And then um, I am really close to my family. My dad works for the Beacon downtown. Um, it's a homeless day shelter. But one of the programs that is through the Beacon is called Bridget's Hope. Um, and they offer support and empowerment to women who have been incarcerated or who are homeless, who are trying to rehabilitate themselves and get back on their feet. So a dollar for each peach, please, that we sell at Josephine's is going back to Bridget's Hope. I have to say, I really, you you have this presence about you. I'm oh. so drawn to you. And you're really incredible. Thank you. And your family is incredible. Yeah. What, how did your niece feel about knowing that there's a cocktail after her? Well, so she was really excited about it. We didn't tell her that it was a cocktail because she's technically underage, so she can't drink it yet. Yeah, it's a um, mocktail. It's, it's a mocktail. <laughs> um, she lives in Portland, and so it's definitely something that's funny because um, I keep joking with her that when she comes 
back to Houston or the next time we're up there that we'll, you know, try the non-alcoholic version of this. Um, but yeah, she's super, super excited about it. It's a lot of fun. And what an amazing aunt yeah. to have. <laughs> I mean, we all need that one person in our family that we look up to. So yeah. I know that she admires you so much. So thank you so yeah, much. Of course. We're of course going to have all the information about this and of course the charities as well over on our website, CW39.com. We are going to continue to feature another extraordinary woman. That's after the break. are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Is it finally time to replace that banged up floor with a durable and beautiful laminate floor? Well, we've got you covered. At National Floors Direct, you can get an entire room of laminate flooring installed the next day for just $555. Just $555. These laminate floors from world-famous Mohawk can take a beating and still look great. Call 888-400-FLOOR. Get your laminate floor installed the next day, no hidden extras, and no interest for one year. Call 888-400-FLOOR. We'll bring the store to your door. Searching for dental implants? When you find yourself needing to replace all of your teeth, you've done the research. You've heard Renew Smile say we are up to 60% less than other providers. And maybe you thought to yourself, not a chance. But the reality is, that is 100% true. Renew Smiles is up to 60% less than other providers and offers low monthly financing, even with lower credit scores. Great value, high quality, happy patients, lives changed. Call today. We want to be sure about our children's health. The pediatricians at Legacy Community Health get to know each child and family, answering all your health questions and your child's too. From well-child exams to safe and effective vaccines like COVID-19 and flu, getting that picky eater to try more veggies, or helping your high schooler deal with exam stress, Legacy's team is your trusted partner in your child's health and wellness. New patients are welcome at 14 convenient locations. It's 10 feet. One shot makes you a soup for 24 hours. Waiting for the break of day. Mm. Oh. Getting up to splash my face. Wanting just to stay away. Should I try to do so? I used to weigh about 300 pounds. I was able to achieve my results and look at me now. Patients can expect to see three to 11 inches in just two weeks. Typically half a pound they pound per visit. CW39's Lifestyle Show, Houston Happens, highlights local businesses every day. Our team's ready to help you reach more customers and grow your revenue. We'd love to speak with you. Please scan the QR code or email hhsales at cw39.com today. All right, it's time for the weekend. I know a lot of you are ending spring break. However, the weather, eh, it's not exactly ideal for the end of spring break. Hopefully you have some indoor activities planned, right, Kerrigan? Indeed, you really don't want to be out there for this afternoon and going into the evening time. It's whenever the weather's going to get really gnarly here in town. Oh, all right. Can you break it all down? Because I actually do have some errands to run, and I'm always afraid I'm going to get caught in the rain when I leave the grocery store. Well, I would go ahead and get them done sooner rather than later. We're seeing a few showers this morning, a brief lull for the start of our afternoon before those showers and thunderstorms ramp up later on this afternoon and into the evening time. Late tonight, we go back into a bit of a lull, but a strong line of showers and thunderstorms will make its way through and all modes of severe weather are possible. I showed you future cast just a few moments ago, uh, seeing that line of rain and storms passing on through. This is what it can bring with it. Severe hail is possible. We do have that 5% chance of hail possible within any um, radius of a 20, uh, 25 mile radius of any given point here in southeastern Texas for the area highlighted in brown. That increased chance is what you see 15% there and the hatch region means a large hail that's on the order of um, about golf ball size you can uh, imagine so it's not just a um, small hail it's impactful hail that could be brought our way by these showers and storms moving forward throughout our afternoon and evening now as for our wind speeds go along that line of showers and storms we could see winds gusting to damaging speeds so that means 
really hunker down any lawn furniture you have outdoors, anything that can easily get blown away, try to bring those indoors, put them in your she shed if you have one. Going into that tornado probability, it's our lowest risk out of everything, but it's still a non-zero chance. We're having about a 2% chance there with the greatest of that risk heading back towards San Antonio. Our 10 day forecast shows a soggy pattern remains for the next couple of days. If you thought that, hey, I'll just stay indoors today and then enjoy my weekend. Not looking the best either Saturday and Sunday. We do also have that chance for rain in the forecast as well as a few severe threats still lingering by that time frame. Now Monday, things do look up for us. We're back into the 70s by that time. Things drying up and then another round of rain comes through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as a soggy pattern unfolds for us. And then by next weekend, it looks like we're finally starting to get a little break from all of this unideal weather and temperature is going to be mild throughout this whole process as we remain soggy. Okay, we just got to get through it, and then we have some brighter days ahead. Yeah. Well, I think it's a good weekend to, like, binge watch, you know, maybe just stay in, especially after a long week. Yeah, so, and people have been out at the rodeo, going out every no, night. and tired. Like, maybe we should just be low-key for a little bit. Like, <laughs> can I tell you, like, those are my favorite. Like, Fridays, I don't go out. I mean, well, now I'm married with a baby. But back in the day, I never planned anything on Fridays. Because mm -hmm. I just day. loved getting my jammies on yeah. and just taking a good nap. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Well, thank you so much, Kerrigan. So many are talking about what might be the biggest thing to happen in L.A. in a long time. Oh, my gosh. Justin Timberlake's one-night-only special concert at the Wiltern Wednesday night to promote his upcoming album, Everything I Thought It Was, which is out this Friday. So we have more in today's entertainment report. You ready? But now for the big reveal, while Timberlake was performing, he brought out NSYNC. They, of course, performed all the hits, including Super Smash Hits, Bye Bye Bye, and It's Gonna Be Me. They also performed a new single called Paradise. Being that the concert was in L.A., many celebrities, of course, showed up to support. Chrissy Teigen posting a good chunk of the concert on her Instagram story also turned the camera onto herself and husband John Legend as they danced the night away. Plus, Travis Kelsey spotted in the back of an Instagram story without pop star girlfriend Taylor Swift. The story posted by Grammy Award-winning producer Chris Riddick Tynes. Probably the most talked about performance on Oscar Sunday, the men of Barbie reuniting for I'm Just Ken, of course, helmed by Ryan Gosling. A one Ken apparently almost didn't make it. Simu Leo says he was actively recovering from an injury when he was asked to appear at the Oscars. But as he told Hoda and Jenna, that wasn't going to stop him from dancing with his castmates. It was thrown together like quite quickly. We started rehearsing for it on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I had a torn Achilles, by the no. way. So I'm like four months into recovering from Achilles surgery, but I'm powering through it because I'm like, I feel like this is this. gonna be like yeah. a historic moment yeah. <laughs> that I would never forgive myself if I wasn't a part of, but I was definitely like, should I be doing this? <laughs> I was talking to my physio and he's like, hey. I was like, okay, whatever, I'm gonna do it. As for how the injury happened, he told people, basically, I had a crazy idea to bring 20 of my friends to Miami, half from my Canadian side and half from the American side, and pit them against each other in an Olympic-style tournament of sports. All of a sudden, I feel like somebody's either shot me or kicked my shin out from underneath me or just barreled into me. I'm like, who hit me? Everyone's looking at me, and they're like, dude, nobody hit you. And it was in that moment I knew that my Achilles was torn. And he says he went to urgent care right away. With your entertainment report here in Hollywood, I'm Andy Reesmeyer. Well, our final guest of our series celebrating influential women in the Houston food and drink scene is Brooke Lightfoot from Two Headed Dog. Hello, Hello. Two Headed Dog. Hi. I'm so excited to have you on. Thank I love you. your energy. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. So tell me first, how did you get into the service industry? Well, I've been doing it a little over 20 years now. What appeals to me is that 
I never stop learning. There's always something new around the corner. I get to scratch that creative itch. I get a little bit of performance in there behind the bar, which yeah. I always enjoy. And I don't think of a bar as a place to catch a buzz. It's a hub of a community. And it's a place where people can do more than just drink. And this is what leads me to my inspiration, Julie yes. Mabry. Okay. So she's the owner, bar owner, operator of Pearl Bar in Houston. And I'm not sure if you're aware, but it's one of only 23 lesbian bars in the country right now. Oh my goodness. Which is kind of shocking, right? Yeah. Um, and it, she was not immune to the pandemic by any means, uh, but with all the money she was able to raise, she also donated back to other lesbian bars that were also in the bar from coast to coast. Yeah. So she is an advocate. She's a community leader. It reaches beyond the LGBTQ community. However, it is nice that there's a safe haven, a place for people to go. And I love how much she puts back into her community. And so I wanted to honor her with this drink. Okay. So, so what are you making? So I'm making, it's gonna call Hot Girl Summer, obviously. Oh, I'm here for a good theme. Obviously. Love it, obviously. And because she is, such a strong and fierce woman, but uh -huh. she's also a, a dead mother. She's nourishing and supportive. She's there for a community. I wanted to play with that for this whole drink. So this, I just used my favorite bourbon and I've got this turmeric honey, which I made super easy. It's just turmeric powder, honey, water. Okay. And then that has the earthy baked spiceness and also okay. the sweetness of the honey so it's just this, this embodying like both worlds drink. absolutely what when she found out about this drink what did she say oh she said it made her night which made my night yes <laughs> you know what i love is women supporting women absolutely you don't always find that and it's a competitive industry as well it is but all the women that i've known been grateful to know we do support each other we're there for each other right so you shake it up yes i'm here for the garnish too because oh yeah if you haven't noticed from my friend over here, you're not basic, honey. There is nothing basic about you. You are fire. Your mentor is fire. So tell me about what you're putting on top. So this is a strawberry infused sweet vermouth that I made. Oh my gosh. Vermouth is a fortified wine. She's the most fortified person I know. And now we just let it kind of creep through, get it that idea of yeah. the flame. Okay. Because she's a phoenix, she's risen. Oh. And then we've got a little dehydrated lemon on there. And then I these, guess. these are Korean chili threads. So I just balled it up like that. Looks like a little tumbleweed. So now we have the actual visual of fire, flame, in flight. And this hopefully I did her proud. You did. For other women out there, quickly, what would be your biggest piece of advice? Stay true to yourself. And when someone has something super negative to say about you, it's probably their own problem. Love it! And I love you! <laughs> so thank you for creating a safe place and a sense of community, and you're continuing the legacy and doing her proud. So cheers to you, and cheers to all of the women we had. Again, you can find out more about their stories and their organizations over on our website at CW39.com. We have more after the break. Thank you again. Thank you. Why is TXU Energy Season Pass one of our most popular plans? Because you automatically save 50% on energy charges all winter and summer. 50% off all winter helps me stay warm and toasty. It's easy when you can save hundreds a year. And 50% off all summer keeps me cool when it heats up. Sure does. Check it out. Cold or hot, you always save a lot. Season Pass is one smart move. <laughs> High five. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. The Rooms to Go Anniversary Sofa Sale is going on now. Hurry in to get big savings and endless sofa possibilities. Remember, every Rooms to Go sofa is on sale. Save on fabric sofas, sleeper sofas, plush leather sofas, sectionals, and reclining sofas. Every sofa you see is priced low to sell fast. And only Rooms to Go offers an opportunity like this. So shop the Rooms to Go Anniversary Sofa Sale now through Tuesday. Every sofa is on sale. In here, you can expect to find crystal clear audio, expansive display space, and more comfort for everyone. But we still left room for all the unexpected things you'll find out here. The new 2024 Grand Cherokee lineup. Jeep, there's only one. During the Jeep Celebration event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Don't miss this great offer. Most insurance companies won't pay without a fight. No matter how bad the wreck is, their goal is to pay you less. And what do I do? I'm 
make all excuses stop and fight back till you get a fair deal. Demand justice. Demand respect. Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, fights for you. 713-777-4000. Call now. Brady Insurance Companies are not unstoppable. I am. Hello, I'm Andrew Womack, and I'd like to invite you to join me daily, every weekday, for the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. The times are on your screen, but you know, this is just a program where I teach from God's Word things that have changed my life, and I know they would change yours. So check it out each weekday, the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. I was driving one night, and I hit a guy who was walking across the street. When you're behind the wheel, slow down, stop for people in crosswalks, and pass bikes at a safe distance, because what happens in an instant can stay with you for life. He is a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer and a Songwriting Hall of Famer, and he's going to be in Houston this weekend at the Heights Theater. The legendary John Oates joins us this morning on the CW39 Spotlight. We love you down here in Houston. Love you down here in Texas. Talk, talk to me about you know what, what people can expect from that show this weekend. Well, um, it, this is a, a tour that I've been doing for quite some time now. I've been doing it all around the world. It's called An Evening of Songs and Stories. And uh, what I try to do is I try to give people a, a look into the, the musical life that I've had um, without getting too heavy about it. Uh, you know, I've been a musician my whole life. I've been playing music since I've been a child. Uh, and I, I've got a lot of influences that go way beyond the music uh, that I've made with Daryl Hall with Hall and & Oates. And so, um, uh, yeah, looking forward to, to coming to the Heights Theater where an acoustic show, the way we're doing it, um, is really, uh, it's the perfect venue and the perfect uh, environment for people to really hear the music. And I tell lots of stories. I tell stories on uh, uh, you know, the inspirations behind the songs, uh, how how some of the songs are written, and um, and then I play them. Uh, so I've got a lot of new music as well. So um, I really run the gamut from my early childhood all the way through. Uh, and uh, I've got a, an amazing band with me and this incredible percussionist. Well, to hear more of that, go to our website, CW39.com. That's nearly a wrap. Here's a look at today's sponsored content. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. Bye for now, everybody.